Hi, how is everybody today? Before we get started, we want to remind everyone of the ground rules. Respect each other's ideas and opinions. Do not tell personal stories or ask personal questions. Everyone should participate as much as possible. It's okay to pass. And the clapping pattern equals stop and listen. There are different things we consider when making important decisions in our lives. One thing we do is think about the messages we get from many sources around us. We do this whether we realize it or not. We ask people in our lives for their advice, and sometimes we get it even without asking. Other times we are barely aware of how other messages can influence us. These messages can impact the decisions we make. This is especially true of messages from the media. Today we are going to discuss different pressures we may feel inside of us. We may feel these pressures when making the decision to become sexually involved. We also just talk about messages and pressures about sex that we get from other sources in our lives. Here's a diagram showing different sources of pressure that might impact how you feel about sex. Many of them may be influenced, oh, many of us may be influenced by these sources every day. These messages can feel overwhelming sometimes, and this is especially true when they conflict with each other. On our poster, we have parents, guardians, and teachers. We also have school, friends, peers, and the media as sources of pressure. These are the different types of pressures we're gonna talk about today. When we talk about friends and peers, that can include classmates, friends, siblings, and any other people your age. When we say media, that can include television, movies, or popular music. It can also be the internet, social media, and advertising. A teen who is thinking about becoming sexually involved may feel many different pressures. They may hear lots of different messages about what they should do. Sometimes the most confusing or challenging pressures can be the ones from within. These internal thoughts and feelings can be both positive and negative. On one hand, someone may feel curious about sexual behaviors. As they get older, their hormones may make them start thinking about sex a lot more. On the other hand, they may feel uneasy about it, scared or feel concerned that they are not ready. Being face-to-face -face makes it harder to exaggerate. That is because you can't be anonymous. When someone is talking to you in person, you can read their facial expressions and body language. You can also listen to how they are saying something, and that helps you figure out if they're kidding or being serious. Sharing through social media makes it hard, easier to say or do what you would never say or do in person. The same is true for texting. So it may be tempting for someone to send a message about sex that they don't really believe. For example, sometimes people text naked or almost naked pictures of themselves to others or post them on social media. People may do this because it feels daring, fun, or they're experimenting. Other times they do this because they feel pressure from peers or partner, and this is called sexting. Remember, once you send a sex, you no longer have control over that image. That means it can stay on someone else's phone or the internet forever if they choose to post it online. Sexting is also illegal if you are under 18. When someone sends a sex, they put themselves and the person they sent it to at risk legally. Even if you didn't send it, you can still get in trouble if you receive forward or share the picture with other people. Forwarding someone else's sex to other peers is also a form of bullying and it can be really hurtful. Before you post any or send any messages or pictures, remember to ask yourself, is it okay with me if all my friends and family see this? If the answer is no, don't do it. If, you'll feel, if you feel pressure to send a sex or explicit image, communicate your boundaries. Talk to a trusted adult to get support with the situation. It's never okay to be pressured or forced into sexting by anyone. This includes someone you are dating, a friend, or a classmate. It's also never okay to pressure another person to send a sext. Other people should always respect your boundaries and you should always respect theirs. So if you have any questions about sexting, be sure to put them in the question box. And it could also be really helpful to talk to a trusted adult about your questions. Now let's look more closely at messages conveyed through popular music. We are going to play a song that you may recognize. While the song is playing, listen to the words for sexual messages. When the song stops, we will ask you to discuss what you heard. There are many messages young people receive every day about relationships and having sex. These messages may come from many different sources. It is important to think about which sources you trust and what their goal or motivation is in sending you certain messages. It can be really helpful to have a trusted adult in your life who has your best interests at heart. They can offer advice or information about the different pressures we experience. We will talk more about how to identify a trusted adult in a future lesson.